it's so important to convince every one of my students that they all are mathematicians, they all can do mathematics, and that it's accessible to them. I'm not very good at math, and he was able to explain things in different ways instead of saying the same thing over and over so that I could understand it. One of the harder things teaching here in Alaska has been in, in the winter, you know, environmentally, we're pretty much confined to that four-room classroom so much time during the year. Having the students sit in their desks or at their tables in their groups just isn't enough. They need to get out. They need to do a lot of different things, whether it's sing, whether it's act something out. It's so important that what we're doing in class with the activities of mathematics connects to something in the real world. Um, if they're going to be interested and really go with something and go to the depth that I think they need to, it needs to be something that's relevant to them. And not just something that's relevant in the future. Oh, if I become a doctor, maybe this would be relevant to me. It's got to be relevant current day. Now we're going to have a little fun today, and we're going to connect that whole concept of the trig and the triangle. You're going to take a map of Alaska. And what you want to do is triangulate this. Art was a real perfect vehicle. It was very tangible. Students could get their hands on it. And I found a couple art projects where even people who were like me as a student who weren't into art, didn't feel they were very artistic, could experience some success. And from that, I think they've got that tangible picture, something they can hold on to and see and touch later that's going to connect them to the underlying numbers that then I think is going to make the mathematics make more sense. When you do hands-on work, you're more likely to be involved and do what you're supposed to do. It's not like book work where you're sitting there reading and doing this. You're more likely to remember what you're doing. What does it There's so many times a student's thinking isn't affirmed or reaffirmed. It's absolutely critical for me to be able to celebrate and encourage kids and say, oh, that is a wonderful observation, and guess where this goes? I have a good time, and there is a lot of energy. And I think most of it comes from the reciprocal relationship with the students. When I get energized and excited and passionate about a particular part of something we're studying, they get excited. And to see them celebrate, oh, I got the problem, it's just thrilling. And we keep the level of intensity and excitement just keeps growing, and that's what keeps me going. I want every kid to get that experience of what it's like to just be thoroughly excited about learning something new or discovering something new.